Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on speed up the website. This, this will be a series post, so this is the first one. We are about to see 10 tips to speed up the website. Compress the images to reduce file size. We can't avoid images when we have to show images. So, one thing we can do is we, we can compress the images so we can reduce the file size and we can easily do this with uh, MS Paint which is uh, Microsoft Paint software just open the image in the Microsoft Paint and save it as JPG and you will see the file size is reduced you can also do it with Photoshop by saving the file with uh, save for the web option from file menu uh, you can use PNG format and you will see reduced file size it will re reduce and actually it will optimize the image for using in websites you can use other softwares by searching Google for free um, image uh, optimization tools and you can get a lot of free softwares to do, do this task for you scale down images well as we said we can't avoid images we need images but we have to um, use the images in an optimized way for example we have to show uh, four images on the on a single page or 40 images each images uh, when when the user will click on the images the uh, user will open the image in the next page where the image will be displayed in the full size but in this space we are going to show 40 images but all these images uh, con just consider all these images are of 1 megabyte in file size and they are really large HD pictures so loading these four images in the same page means 4 megabyte but actually we are not displaying the images in their full sizes but we are loading the full sized image which is a bad idea instead we can resize the images to the display size we are actually displaying the images which is for our example 115 to 85 pixels so if we reduce these files on the left to this size on the right we reduce one one 1 megabyte to 40 kilobyte that means 1024 kilobyte to 40 kilobyte this is a very very high compression and reduction of file size which will finally make this 4 megabyte page load only 160 kilobyte so that's a great compression and it will really speed up your the page minify css and js files we in this modern JavaScript CSS based website we really can't avoid a lot of those CSS and JS files we use in our websites for JS files you know for those galleries plugins for user interactivity modern file input and forms and CSS uh, lots of CSS are required for those cases to support those JS plugins or to enhance the look or look and feel of the website but look at this sample JS file it contains 65,710 lines it's a huge file which is a text file of 2.1 megabytes so if we just uh, if we want to explore we can find these kinds of file which are so large in size 2.1 megabyte of JS file but if we minify this JS file consider we can't avoid this JS file this JS file contains a lot of code every single thing which are required and obviously these are required because these are from my sample project so but if we minify these JS files you see it, it's been reduced to more than 50% it's now 8, 883 kilobyte only and it's just a one line of code okay how you can minify or uh, your JS and CSS files you can use uh, various online tools just search for minify JS and minify CSS you will get one click tools to do these things for you
combined CSS files and JS files. If you are having a lot mm, number of CSS and JS files like 15 CSS file, 30 JS files, this can happen, I understand. But when you are actually in development period, you can use this 15 CSS and 30 JS files. But if you just can't get rid of these files, you can't list down the number then in the production when you will be uh, in the live mode just try to combine all those 15 CSS files into one single CSS file and 30 JS files in one single JS file that will cause only two HTTP requests and fewer HTTP requests means faster loading Put JS at the bottom. Consider this as a HTML page. You have the head and the body section. Put your JS files at the bottom of the body. This actually, uh, how this works is when the browser is loading the page, it will start rendering from the top to the bottom. So if you have some JavaScript files at the top, right up, right under the head or in the head sec section. Then what will happen is the browser will start loading those JS files and wait for those JS files to load and then it will render the rest of the body. So this will cause uh, slower loading speed. But if you put those JS files at the bottom of the page, the page will be rendered first and then the JS files will be loaded and the interactivity will be produced. Put CSS at the top. When you are loading CSS, try to load them at the head section. Some browsers, including the Internet Explorer, uh, when rendering a page, they try to wait for the try to reach the CSS files first because they think those browsers think that if they render the page then they find the CSS files at the bottom then they will have to render the page once again so they better try to find the CSS files first and then after the CSS files are loaded they render the page so instead of putting the CSS files at the bottom and letting the browser doing the thing once again twice put your CSS file at the top in the head section the browser will find the CSS files then it will load it and then it will start direct rendering of the rest of the page. Avoid image icons, use fonts and sprites. Well, image icons, image means load, file size. It causes damage to the website's loading speed. So always avoid image icons and use font icons like font or some which is free to use. So it's a great thing. Just search in Google for font or some and you will get to their website. Download and use the font awesome icons. Those are just really awesome. But still, if for any case you need uh, to use the image icons, try to make a sprite of those image icons. So when you are requesting, as you know, there can be a lot of icons used in a single page. So try to create a sprite of all those icons. So your page will request for only one image instead of uh, 30, 40 images. No blank or empty SRC or href attribute. Well, consider this is a page and there are you can see there is a href with blank address, src with blank address. What really happens is that though you are uh, putting nothing here, the browser will make an invalid request to the server which will finally cause the server to do some invalid task, the browser to wait for some invalid data, just waste of time and waste of processor's power. So never keep any blank src or blank href attribute make ajax cacheable when you are making ajax calls and you know that the 
data is not going to be changed frequently try to make your ajax call cacheable now the good thing is in js uh, jquery ajax call the cache is already true so you don't have to do this but for data type when the, that data type is script or json p you have to enable cache true manually make fewer http requests uh, that's this point is kind of summary to the all this discussion the thing is here we are loading six css files six images and six js files that's a bad idea we possibly we cannot make a sprite of the images because these are not the icon these are images that we are showing but we can actually combine and minify minify and combine those css files into one file and also minify those js files six js files and then combine them into one file this is what is the summary i mean try to reduce your resources and reduce the number of http requests you made whenever you are creating a website try to keep things light as much as possible but we also know that we cannot try to reduce an image file size to a point where the image becomes uh, bad to look at we will not do that we will try to reduce the image size as less as possible as much as possible and uh, we will try to combine the css file js files and we'll also try to modify minify the js and css files so that the, their size uh, is also reduced thank you for watching the video and subscribe to our channel if you like it just like and share the video thank you very much